Europe has set records for solar power generation that have never been seen before, wind as well. And as a result, coal power has hit record lows. There has never been a time in recorded history where less coal power has been used as a percentage of energy generation in Europe. And it's actually now probably less than 10 years before coal completely disappears from Europe as well. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. Great to have you with us. Solar became Europe's largest source of electricity for the first time in June 2025, says Ember. National records for solar were broken in at least 13 countries. In fact, we have data showing that it's likely to be around 16 countries that have broken solar generation records in the month of June. In June 2025, solar for the first time was the largest source of electricity in Europe and multiple countries recorded records. We'll get to those records in just a second. In fact, multiple countries recorded records, not just in June, but also in the previous month in May. Solar power generation hit 22.1% of all electricity. And interestingly, that means it surpassed nuclear for the first time in, well, forever. And that is an increase of 22% versus June of 2024. Now, obviously, if solar increases by 22% again, or even 20% again next year, between now and next year, then we're looking at many more records that will be broken. And most likely, coal power will cease to exist across all of Europe, except for two remaining holdout countries. Those countries, one of them pretends like it's a, a, an advanced economy, but it's sort of not in some ways, which is kind of odd. Anyhow, the second largest source of electricity generation in Europe was nuclear with 21.8%. Wind was at 15.8%, which was essentially pretty close to being a record for wind generation. Solar reached new highs in the majority of European countries in June 2025 with at least 13 countries. And I say at least 13 because you can see from these charts here that it's, well, here's the countries we know broke records in June, so last month. Austria, Belgium, Bulgaria, Croatia, Czechia, France, Germany, Greece, Netherlands, Poland, Romania, Slovenia, and Sweden. But it looks like uh, Spain actually has broken a record as well. We don't have the data yet, but it looks like they will have. Uh, Slovakia is very close. Latvia, very close as well. Portugal almost certainly broke a record. Uh, Hungary, it looks like it did as well. Ireland almost definitely did. Uh, Finland might have, not sure yet. And Estonia looks like it probably did as well. We just don't have confirmed data from those countries for the entire month yet. What this means is it's likely solar actually broke records in around 18 countries in Europe. These solar records, why are they happening? Two reasons. One, it's pretty sunny. I mean, it's not any, to be honest, all that much sunny, more sunny than, say, several years ago. But um, yeah, it was a very sunny months, May and June. But really, the main reason is not that. It's actually the main reason is because there's just a lot more solar being installed in Europe. It's the cheapest form of, of electricity. It's cheaper than, much cheaper than nuclear. In fact, it's about 80% cheaper than nuclear power. Crazy. Now, of course, solar can't completely replace nuclear well, at least that's what um, the naysayers would say anyway, isn't it? That's not, not actually true, though, because solar and batteries are cheaper, much cheaper, in fact, than installing nuclear power. In fact, about 50% cheaper on average across Europe. So because of the enormous decline in the cost of batteries, we're seeing Europe build out batteries to support the solar that they've been wasting, what literally wasting billions of dollars worth of solar because it's generated during the middle of the day. Most people don't actually need it during the middle of the day. They need it in the evening. So now these big batteries can deploy a lot of that solar, that previously wasted solar in the evenings. And that's going to really change the entire energy outlook across Europe as well. What about wind? Well, this year wind farms generated 16.6% and 15.8% of EU electricity in May and June, respectively. 
those are the highest amounts ever for those two months. And this is a pretty good turnaround because wind power has had some declining months for a while because of a lack of wind. But um, all of a sudden that's drastically changed. And the other reason is because a lot more wind turbines have been installed, particularly at offshore wind farms where huge amounts of wind power can be generated. All of this leads us to one, well, another good piece of positive news here, guys, which is that as a result of high renewable generation, coal power is hitting record lows. In June 2025, it hit an all-time record low for percentage of power contributed to the electricity network. Total fossil generation will continue to go down over the coming years as a result of this disruption of renewable energy. Coal generated only 6.1% of Europe's electricity in June 2025, down from 8.8% in June 2024. However, interestingly, just two countries account for 80% of all of Europe's coal power use. Those are Germany and Poland. 43% of Poland's energy comes from coal and 12% of Germany's energy comes from coal. Now, Germany, we know, is phasing out coal, um, and they should be. They should also phase out coal mining because it's ruining a lot of the Germany's landscape. They've got these open-cut coal mines not far away from electric car factories where all the protesters go to. Literally, I mean, you can't make this stuff up. The protesters don't seem interested in the open-cut coal mines, which are devastating and use enormous amounts of water. But for some reason, they have problems with electric car factories. So it's really strange. I wonder if there's some sort of vested interest going on there. But anyhow, I think Germany, they are continuing to plan to phase out coal. And as you can see, it's only 12% of their energy. Probably within five years, they will have phased it out. Poland will be the last remaining standout. And there are a few other countries that use coal. Czechia, 17.9%. Bulgaria, 16%. Denmark, 3%. Spain, 0.6%. Denmark and Spain will can stop using coal within the next couple, two, probably two years. But Czechia, 18%. And Bulgaria, 16%. Probably looking at about 40 years before they phase out their coal use as well. Keep in mind, it actually doesn't make sense for these countries to use coal at this point in time because... They're very, coal power plants are very expensive. They're always older, inefficient, and they break down constantly, causing problems for the grid. So coal is going to continue to die. Within 10 years, coal use will have been phased out everywhere except for Poland in Europe. Fossil fuels generated around 23.6% of electricity in June, and they're continuing to go down every year. Electricity demand as a whole, though, is actually going up in Europe. And in the first half of 2025, Europe actually consumed 1,313 terawatt hours of electricity, which was a 2.2% increase over last year. Five out of the first six months of 2025 saw higher demand than the same months in 2024. So more people using air conditioners, more people driving electric cars, uh, more factories. I'm not sure what it is, but either way, Power use is increasing, but fortunately, offsetting that increase in power use is the deployment of lots of renewable energy. Guys, let me know what your thoughts are. How do you feel about this? I think this is fantastic news, and I, and I see coal power being phased out all around the world. The data shows us that the only country, only major country in the world that's actually increasing its use of coal now is actually India. Everywhere else is like, what are we doing? This is expensive. This is stupid. It's polluting. It doesn't make any sense. And they're actually moving away from it and replacing a lot of their coal power plants with solar farms and big battery storage. Thanks for watching.